Hey, here I am, mid-30s, beard, recording a at-home podcast. Might as well have like a crafty beer on the side, just like adds to the allure, as it were. The mystique. That is definitely uh, the, the midlife crisis of internet doing a podcast and uh, have, have a craft beer. Oh, ooh, that's good. That's good. Good little nip. Oh, yeah. For a 440ml can, it's got almost three standards in it. So that is value for money. Yeah, that is, that's very strong. That's sitting at an 8.3. Oh, it's, yeah, that's going to make you sour. A couple of those. <laughs> I'm not on the craft beer. I'm actually on a, 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 a Coke Zero. I was going to uh, say, you'd be rocking I've water, wouldn't you? I've had a few too many beers last night, and my pants are brown enough. If it's brown, drink it down. It's brown pants. Sit back, relax. Slink into some feast and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Tezza, and joining me today is old my teammate from Christchurch, James of Team Hoon. Hey, how you going, James? Yeah, bloody good, mate. Bloody good. <laughs> um, so obviously we all know the the, the regionals just happened. Mm, yeah, we and did. Uh, didn't happen for me. Maybe I just didn't turn up. Maybe oh, I, oh no, I you definitely you moment. definitely turned up. I turned up, and, and in many other ways. Yeah, like, so the Christchurch was held at um, TCG Collector NZ, down in Christchurch there, Will and the boys. Um, from my experience in the past, they always put on a good event. Um, good event as far as you're concerned? Oh, yeah. It ran smooth. You know, no no glaring issues. <laughs> no issues at all, really, to be fair. It was fine. It was just a nice run event, and uh, everyone had a lot of fun. No, oh, that's what we'd like to hear. So, no, ju- no judging qualms, because we ha- had a couple of risky ones come out of there. You know, um, a Christchurch is known to like allow um, pendulum summons of ritual monsters. Um, Jack you know, Jaguar, as cost, ja- yeah, yeah, Jack Jaguar, yeah, not being able to shuffle wolf. Oh no, it was shuffle wolf. They were sh- they could shuffle wolf, but they wouldn't special Jack Jaguar, yeah. even though that's the <laughs> entire combo. Classic. Yeah, um, yeah, great event. Seems like the team are doing really well down there. It's really good. Um, well, first off, what deck did you decide to play out of all the this tier zero tier elements and all this other stuff going on? What did you decide to play out of everything? Well, as the people know, I uh, I like to play the odd decks, the odd oddball ones. Usually, I do all right. Sometimes, I do all right. Yeah, usually uh, the little girl decks. Little girl decks usually. Yeah, you, you'd have to be an oddball. Well, that's I am. It's probably it's probably not too far from the truth to be bloody fair. But mm. I I played uh, I played the Naturia Runic with the Shizu Shufflers and Bestials. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, just yeah. four packages and one all the good stuff. It went okay. I, I uh, it's probably a lot of my own being bad at the game, but <laughs> but to be fair, I've taken it to hobby and got X one the last two weeks. So I was like, oh yeah, cool. We are on here. Yeah, we are. But it just didn't work. Like I, I'll tell you my matchups. I'll tell you how yeah. I went personally on a personal level. I mean, we've got a lot of time to fill, don't we? Certainly do. I mean, we want to hear how bad I was. So this was an X X two one drop. So I think mm. I only won two games. Mm. Yeah, not great. Uh, oh, and Shen, I only won one match. Jeez. Yeah. You're no better than RJ. Bless RJ though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and but, I mean, he goes there for fun. I was I was I was really trying to get that top eight. I wanted that ninja mat, you know. I, well, I think that the, bloody ninja mat. I think the funniest thing is that he managed to smoke one of the Blenheim players who turned up with Tear Element. And it's just like, oh. Did he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his one win was against Brayden um, round one, and apparently he just kept top decking D shifters against Brayden. And Brayden was just like, well, I can't, I can't, I can't win here. Oh, bamboozled by the cheese man. Yeah, I know. He got Huge shout out, Sarge. Jay. He is like the hobby. The, you know, he's like that guy that makes you it makes you smile at, at hobby. You know, he must, uh, yeah, he, he just has a, he's a lot of fun. Yeah, he's, he sits there. Yeah. He, he he sort of plays up his persona of only eating cheese online, which 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 which, which is an unhealthy. No, no, it's unhealthy it's mentally. Not and diet, particularly not a dietitian's recommended diet. Yeah, uh, but he loves the memes. But no, he's just he's he's a fun guy. You know, so he's he's good to have around. But yeah, no. So that's that's interesting because he's mm. not the greatest player. But like to beat a, to beat to beat tears, pretty nice for him. Good work. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I played. Uh, I'll tell you what my matchups were. Just yeah, we'll yeah. get this over quick because obviously uh, my 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 day was pretty quick. So I first PK tier elements. Ooh. And yeah, yeah. So 
sort of nice little combo. Dumps off sp- like sprint merrily, uh, dumps merrily. Yeah, and uses sad. uses Levy near to make a Kalos, you know. So then it does tear plays. So it was kind of cool. That sounds a nightmare, but all right. Yeah, it's it was it was it was difficult because like I think the end board that they had was like for game three, and this is where I like you know couldn't couldn't break it. It was like cry, one crime, two mm-hmm. fog blades, sprint, uh redo with the trap and then it drew a spell off me but i mean that's fine um uh the rick kalos whatever the one that stops a special summon or someone yeah rick kalos and it was just like ugh, yucky so that was uh my very fun and and first round and then you you just know that you just know that that is the only time that day that that deck probably managed to achieve that as well do you know what the worst thing is? That they they lost every single round, dropped X X three after that, like after that. <laughs> so it's like, oh yeah, cool. Oh, anyway, yeah. I mean, because I, yeah, I didn't draw any best you know, deals. I didn't draw any like yeah. anything to do anything with. So it's like, well, you're just gonna do a full combo. And I lost every dice roll in the whole day, and it was really that flustered me to no end. Mm. Um, and then I versed uh, Sword Soul, and I drew with that, which was just a grind game one, and I just. Yeah, which I, find, which I find interesting because according to um, I was speaking with some of the judges after the event, and they reckon that Sword Soul was the second most represented deck that day. Like, I think it was Sprite at number one and Sword Soul at number two. I'm just like, what? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's been online success. You know, you see people like Pax playing it. Yeah, yeah, and they had a pretty strong list, and I think people probably copied that. But like, it's an okay deck. It's an okay deck. I saw I saw Cotton versing Sword Soul, the same player I drew to. Yeah, it could have could have could have beaten him, and and has the like a fusion on the field with things on the in the graveyard. He's playing Ritual Beast, by the way. Had oh Nib, and I'm like, oh, hell. cool, you know, combo tag out first, and then chain Nib, and then he just he just activates Nib and just nibs his own field. It's like, what are you doing? Oh come on! You no. threw this game. Oh. <laughs> um, so that was. That was funny. But anyway, yeah, so back to me. Uh, round three, then I versed branded, like a branded bestial deck. Yeah. And I was able to just pick it apart pretty easily. Was that was that Kalisha yeah. or was that someone else? No, that, that was a guy from uh, Nelson, a very enthusiastic young man, is probably the best way to say it. Very enthusiastic about the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, there's definitely not Gil. He's not enthusiastic at all. And he was on Sprite. No, no. And he was on Sprite. Um, anyone games um and then i think i best flunderies and just lost and just scooped that's absolutely heart that's yeah. absolutely heartbreaking really like so you, you feel like some of those matches were like eh, they could have gone either way eh? but what can you do oh, yes it is what it is it is what it is should have played medulce yeah I re- spicy medulce bestial deck i reckon i reckon that would have been the go away eh? like just carve them out of nowhere eh? like yeah. i always i always find that that, that gives you, like, half, half the battle. It's, it's also part of the reason I reckon I'm just doing so well with Draco Slayers at the moment. It's because you turn up to Hobby League, like, once in a while, and people are just like, oh, I know what Tear does. Uh, what does your deck do? What are the choke points? And you're just like, well, you'll find out after I've beaten you. Yeah, well, that's what I thought with the Naturia yeah, the Naturia stuff, like, Runic, and it's like, oh, people won't know what to do. People won't know how to play it. So. But it's not that I had that issue. I just didn't draw the engines you know like mm. some games i'll just be dealing with just runics and then it's other games it's just nature and it wasn't working as well as it had been for the last couple of weeks so i just got a bit but unlucky there so that was a bit eh bad deck building skill issue skill issue i mean like pick it up mate oh, yeah. from the event schedule i've seen like um february is pretty dead for everyone until we get to march and then it's just chock a block i think there's ots Woo! I think there's OTS champs in there. There is that unspecified geek culture event, and then there's Ooh, obviously exciting. And then there's also the Dice Goblin regionals as well, which I will be traveling down for. So, yeah, this is I do I do love a bit of Goblin, uh, so Ooh, that's it's that's, that's, that's always yeah. it sounds exciting. Hey, I said shout out to Bex by the way. Bex, Mamidi, yeah. She likes the yeah. goblin too, doesn't she? She she she's been a fan of the goblin. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
She's not going to listen to this anyway, so we're safe. We're all good. What's about going to the boys? Dunedin. Yes. Hell yes. Oh, we could talk about that for a bit because, man, that is going to be a, a good event. Oh, my God. It's always a good time going down. It's always a good time going down to Dunedin. No, we, we love it. We love it so much. Oh, yeah. Especially, uh, obviously, with the news breaking about Greg having to probably sell the store, which is a bit heartbreaking for a lot of us because he's done so bloody well. Yeah. He, um, he's He has genuinely been one of the nicest people to deal with in this TCG for like, or he, any TCG thing in New Zealand. He runs a great event. He has the, probably the best stream in New Zealand. Or like, yeah, the work that he does, it, it losing, will be very much missed. Yeah, we're losing an absolute treasure with Greg there. But, but yeah, so Dunedin, uh, it's, it's looking like all of the boys are going to go to Dunedin. Um, yeah, uh, I, be- I believe there's some Auckland players coming down as well. Well, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. No, right. was, it, uh, was it the same boys group of boys as last time? Uh, yeah, I believe Aaron Dennis is currently arranging everyone. So, Oh, yeah, exciting. It's going to be good. I, I like, reckon Stiletto's still... What Stiletto's does to him, man, eh? What bloody Stiletto's does to him, man? I know, and it's not even Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout uh, out to the best strip club in New Zealand. Far out. Actually, you, you know what? You know what? This I think I think this this is the event. This is the time that I march straight up to management and say, "Hey, sponsor us." <laughs> straight up, <laughs> your, we, we your give logo you more right here. Than anything. Your logo right here on a Hoonhei T-shirt. <laughs> oh shit! How good would that play be? Oh, would do it too. They should. They really should. I mean, like. Hospitality in New Zealand's at an all-time low. I mean, they could use the exposure. I mean, we love mm. their exposure. <laughs> we, do, we, do, we do love their exposure. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, so Dunedin, there's going to be, what, Edison, the multi-format, and then the regional on Saturday. Yeah. So region- is, it, is it Edison Friday? Yeah, regional, regional Saturday? Regional Saturday, and then Sunday is a, um, that is the uh, multi-format. Multi-format, right. Which, um, yeah. if you don't know, for anyone that's out there listening, if you are listening, or if you're even out there, I do not know. Um, so multi-format is pretty much, you can use any topping deck list pre duelist Alliance. Oh, it's, it's including duelist Alliance, isn't it? Yes, because Burning Abyss was there, and Shadows and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think er- it is early, early Shadows. Still Alliance. So ju- up to duelist Alliance format. So that's where we... That's where we are um, with uh, multi-format. Um, previously in the past, I've played Wind Up. You've played um, XYZ Infinity. Is that right? Yeah, I'll be taking that again. Good. I mean, I'm playing. Um, I'm playing Wind Up. There's no point in me building anything else. Edison, Edison, though, I'll probably be on Black Wings. Yeah, yeah, I think you will be on Black Wings. I've got many in Edison deck. The formats are so much fun. Um, for anyone that hasn't really played it, it's obviously March 2010 format. Mm. Oh, how good is it? Back in the just back in the day, oh, they old boomer, boomer, old men talk about old school Yu Gi Oh. This is what the podcast should be about. But I know I am playing hobby. Just, I, isn't it just good, just synchro summoning and just like popping, popping a card? We're sitting on a Stardust. You're like, yeah, that's a good turn. Stardust and two back row, come at me, bro. Yeah. Oh fuck, come at me. Oh, but yeah, that's fun. I mean, I've got a lot of decks. I've got. I've I'm, I've been enjoying um Flameville. Yeah. Uh, so that's been that's been a lot of fun. I saw a nice list the other day mainly like instead of running rikos and hamsters to cut the mm-hmm. hamsters and run more of like a light swarm package itself and mill mill them out mill yeah. out the the flame balls because it's like you, you just want as many as you can in the graveyard to rekindling and then you also have like the magical stone is it magical stone of excavation it's like discard yeah. two cards to discard. add one spell back yeah. yeah discard any two to add a spell back and then you um you just keep- yeah you can just keep looping that with either the rekindling or is it the like they've got like an uber foolish bear which just dumps three flamvels. That's all it does. It's like the most basic card. Of it. It's just no, like that's s- Laval. That's Laval. Oh god, what the fuck are flamvels? Yeah, bro? the only the only flamvel that you play is Fire Dog and and the and the magician because it's just four stars and he's oh. a four star tuner as you make eight. Oh right, and is this the deck that also ran like um like Gravekeeper spying gales and stuff as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm black. I'm going to probably cut the spies and run like Lilas and for the pop spell trap and oh, mill. Yeah, fair. yeah. So that's that's my that's my list, and I'm I'm been enjoying that. It's been fun. It's going to take me back because fire I'm... and fire dog's huge. Fire dog's bloody huge. Nineteen hundred beta. Huh? And what it has to do and is... when it destroys a card, yeah, it can like summon a dude. Whew. Yeah, that's just so good. That's so good. Like there was just so much advantage gained off cards like that. That's why like. There were those Dino decks and Dino Rabbit was the thing, and they were all playing like Jurek, Wyber, uh, Hydra Get On, Aqua Get On. 
Hydra get on. The little 1600 guy mm. trying to spam like two dinosaurs to the field as quick as possible. Any, anyway, let's move up the um, country. Let's go from Dunedin back up to Christchurch. So Christchurch was a bit of a shit show for you. For me, yeah. So we've yeah. done out my one, but like, we can talk. We should talk about what actually did well. Oh, yeah. Well, Why don't we do that? Well, yeah. I mean, like, let's have a look at that. So first place, obviously, taken down by best admin, Liam Gill of Nelson with... Uh, Bastille Sprite. He's got a few cheeky things, a few cheeky things in the main deck there. I mean, like, look, he's on like the Anubis guy. End of Anubis. End of Anubis. Yeah, I saw that. So you put an end of Anubis to bump it up to forty. I'm not sure what that's for, really. To be fair, I mean, I understand, but like, yeah. I don't at the same time. But it worked for him clearly. Uh, um, it, it's because he can summon it off the mannequin cat. And it's a dark, so as soon as they commit any sort of um, tear element, you just do that, and then it shuts off the graveyard. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Although, remember our combo before Oceana that we really should have stuck to with the Thunder King? <laughs> oh, was... really bloody should have. Well, I mean, like after like testing on that Friday, I should have just stuck with pure tear elements, to be honest. And I didn't even know what the yeah. fuck the deck was doing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he did, he did well, um, just the standard. Standard stuff in the side deck as well, just a little bit of burn damage, just to maybe get some advantage in a life point okay. situation, which I wonder yeah. what that would be for. Yeah, I mean, like, well, let me ask you this, James. Let me ask you this. Red Resonator, have you read it recently? Yes, I have read Red Resonator. Cool. How many I can times? Tell you who hasn't read Resonator? Who? Who's that? Uh, that is Isaac <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, for- it's, a, it's a hard one to turn. Yeah, from the from the sounds of the story, though, like uh, I don't think either of them have read them. It wasn't until afterwards that I was like, mm. and yeah, so yeah, I, I forgive the man because he's been playing OCG for a while, and then to, but to come back, but I mean, like he still made top eight with Earth Machines, which is like holy hell. And he he started on a record like X one, uh, one yeah, loss he... and a draw, and then just didn't lose for the rest of the day. So that he did bloody well. We'll get down to his list, so that's yeah. little, well. You know, we'll keep get, we'll keep going down. We've got a lot yeah. to talk about here. Uh, Liam's list uh, that looks fairly standard. Um, yeah. Just a standard Liam play looks yeah. looks good. Looks nice and clean though. Yeah, second place we've got another Liam, the second best Liam, as it were. Um, Liam Garrity. Um, shout out to your mum, by the way. Like, my God. But yeah, best looking mum, and uh, we actually conducted the survey. Yeah, uh, it was a tire. It was actually a close, close runner-up by G-Man and his attractive mum. By the way, for the listeners out there, yeah. Uh, but Liam's mum takes it out as the hottest mum in you you go New Zealand. So that's it's a great achievement. We need to probably get a trophy for him. To be fair, yeah, exactly. Eh? Well, we'll get a trophy for her. We we need to present her with this. <laughs> yeah, we do. I'm not giving shit to Liam. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll keep we'll keep bloody going down. Um, in without the uh, shufflers, um, he did another good job, I guess. He knows that deck quite well. I didn't even notice that, like looking at it. But now, I, now you mention it, he, he he does not have the Shizu card, so he's playing like a um branded package with the Brandon High Spirits and all that sort of jazz, like very similar to, I think it's pretty much Bowden's list from um OC, isn't it? Yeah, but now it's got the new Scream as well, so it's got Scream. that. It's got so, Blue Carlos in there now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so the new additions, but yeah, it's very it's very similar. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's, he just didn't have the issues to start, and he just couldn't be bothered buying it. It's not like he probably thought it was better um, without it. He just could not be bothered buying it, which I understand, you know, you understand that. By the way, he's been out of the, I, we, He hasn't been a hobby all year. Yeah. Well, all, so two, just, all two weeks of 2003. All, all three weeks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> haven't been to a hobby all year. Um, but, no, uh, he, he, see you next year, mate. Yeah. So <laughs> he, he just couldn't really be bothered buying new cards. So you respect yeah. that. You know, you respect that hustle and grind. But, yeah, I mean, like, he's a smart player. It's a good, it's a good looking list, doing the best with what he's got. Like, he knows to make calls with, like, main decking Ash, main decking Bell and stuff, because... You're going to verse those Randy Rhodes that, that those cards are just going to kill. So, yeah, good on Dudeson. Um, oh, uh, who else made the top four? Oh, yeah, um, good mate of yours. Good mate of yours. Good mate, Keegan. Oh, Keegan, yeah. You know, he's, he's been going right. He's come back into the game. Yeah, you don't fuck, um, with, yeah, you don't fuck with Keegan. He's been doing really well. 
yeah, he's been winning hobbies playing tier. So he actually linked out his tier elements to Liam, who got second place. So oh, get ready. Go on, uh, go on, yeah. Keith. Yeah. I thought Liam uh, owned so the deck. I thought Liam owned the deck. Well, Honestly, did... I, I think I think he gave it to Andrew. I don't know what actually went on and what what the go was, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't know. I don't care. I don't keep track. Bit but yeah, so Keegan played Sprite, Sprite Runic Sprite, which yeah. is pretty. I think it's pretty similar to like Schmidt's list that he played. I think he actually said that it, he copied that. So yeah, yep, yeah, it must have done well for him. Must yes. have got the tip. He would have got the tip a couple of times. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you need, all, oh, no doubt. You need to see the tip to be able to. Um, I do did anything not with see deck. tip at all. Oh my god! I just, I just wanted the tip a couple yeah. times during my day and my day of dueling, and it's just. Ugh, yeah, you felt the, the need to send us two tips in the chat last night. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to confirm. I'm neither going to confirm nor deny that there may or may not have been penis pics sent to the group chat. I don't know. I can't remember. I think he was. I think it was a video too. If you too would like to see these penis pics, please write into the show and email yourmovetcg at gmail.com and we will respond. <laughs> but anyway, right. um, but now, now we're on to the good stuff. Now we're on to the good stuff. We're out of the wheeze. wheeze. And um, on to the good stuff because we have, here we have Isaac Robertson with Trains doing Rider Proud. Well, Trains, Earth Machine, whatever you want to call it. He did the business. Now Isaac loves running a train. Let's just let's just say it like that. Say it how it is. He's yeah. been running this deck for a while. I think it's because the only deck he has. So he, yeah. he just come in not expecting to do well and did pretty well. So shout out to him, really. Yeah, I'm, I mean he, he's a, he's a big follower. I can see him doing um, you know, being being a bit of a hit like when it comes to the old trains. But yeah, I mean, main deck skill drain, main deck rivalry, and then using your graveyard to switch it all up and anything. The one-off, like, Nick or Money King, I assume he just... Is, can he stack his deck, or is he, or is he just like, oh, I'm just going to throw this in. This is card number 15 I, here. I think this was just card number 15. He was like, I'll take it out and uh, this date the morning of, and then we're like, nah, leave it, bro. Leave it, leave it, leave it. I swear so he to, left it in. I swear to God, I hope he won with that cat. I hope he sighted in at least once straight yeah. day. I mean, it's an Earth monster, so a lot of, a lot of his stuff. No, because he's not. He's not even running the um. What is it? You know, like the duckies, the goddess, all the the Vernus self. The Vernus self. Yeah, he's not even running yeah. any of that. So I. But I thought I actually thought he would be as well, but no, no, no none of that nonsense. Just, yeah. just straight, just straight machines, just machines. Just, that's, what yeah. he, that's all he wants. Isaac, he knows what he wants. You're an absolute machine in the train, mate. Moving on. Moving on from that. Jamil? Jamil's with... Uh, with yeah, Ru Jamil. With Jamil's sixth place with Rika. He did bloody well. Yeah, now, now, now this isn't a player that I know too much about. Like, How would you describe him? No, so he's kind of... He's been in it a little while, but playing mainly more like casual decks. Mm -hmm. um, does okay. Middle of the table kind of thing. Um, so he was, he was really surprised that he's been done, done so well the other day, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, we were all kind of surprised that he's done well with this deck because he kind of has been bottoming, bottoming out at hobbies with it. But yeah. so he's really, he must have, you know, used all that bad luck and then really put a good performance in on the regional day. See, yes. I don't know too much about the Rika deck, so I can't even really talk about it. So you could um, say with his plant deck, he, like he has bloomed, plants. he has blossomed, if you will. Mm, mm. I know the field spell is broken as shit. Yeah, it just and that's lets about you, the extent I know. Because all their effects tribute, and the field spell just lets you tribute your opponent's monsters for like almost no reason. You just go, yeah. oh yeah. It'll be a cost, no. right? So it just tributes his cost. Yeah, it tributes his cost. The deck is so dumb, but it's one of those things. It's it's kind of like Infinity. If you stop it in the early blocks, it doesn't do anything. It just goes stumble, stumble <laughs> into the mulcher. Yeah. If it you get it, let it get past like step two or three of its combo, you're done. There is no way you are coming back into that match. And that's so, cool. So obviously he had a lot of luck and he did well. He did bloody well. And it looks like a nice quite tidy little deck list as well. I think glaringly uh, bad out of it from what I can understand. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, speaking, uh, moving on to the bad though. Yeah, all right. There had to be a flaw under his list in the top eight. Andrew Jones. He was at YCS, so he's got a bit of experience. I believe he ha he, he has... No, that, no, no, no. He did not go to YCS. <laughs> oh, I asked what? him. 
No, it was just that was just coincidentally another bloke called Andrew Jones. <laughs> Andrew Jones on board. <laughs> So that was just coincidentally another bloke called Andrew Jones who was constantly playing Flanders as well. So, so that was um, you could call them birds of a feather. Yeah, they stick together. So that yeah. So his list looks. I oh, look. I don't even really want to talk about it. Just it's got. It's got go it was ready to go first and go second. Really, I don't. I, I'm unsure. But yeah, I th- I think the only good thing that I can only good thing I can say about the list is um double uh. St- a barrier statue, double barrier statue of the storm ones, because everyone expects you to get the first one out and be like, "Oh yeah, cool, done." But then, like, don't even you... bloody get me started because I just got pumped against double fucking barrier statue. Oh, did this guy pump you? You got pumped by Jones? No, it, it was uh, the guy from Blenheim, uh, Brian Butler. Oh, Ryan Butler. Yeah, lost right. myself. <laughs> but, Let's uh, move on. I hate yeah, well. Stick. Well, I mean, like, well, speaking speaking of stuff you hate, we're um on on onto the um time wizard himself, uh, Michael Soper on Drag Unity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he played. It's basically dragons, though, isn't it? But like, uh, it's quite nice. It's, it's, yeah. co- it's it, it seemed cool. He was doing combos. I don't, you know. Yeah, he was definitely doing combos. All right. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, like you said, it is um it is probably. From the looks of it, it just looks like it's mostly relying on the Bizdeal package there just to carry it and put the big bodies up. Yeah, it, it is essentially. It also he's also doing like um like crystal beast tactics as well, like using the Polish um, Burial of Goods to dump the crystal beast thing to get to a field spell and all that sort of jazz. Yeah, well, I don't well. I don't know if there's a reason why I pick that one. Like, is there like does that work together with anything? It's a wind wing beast. Like, surely that might have a little bit of synergy. I'm not sure, but um that look that looks kind of cool, but. Pretty cool deck, really. I think we won a lot of games in time, to be fair, with Scarlight doing that old shenanigans. Um, he, so he was... should, yeah, he should have a go at Time Wizard format. I think he'd be very good at that. The old Time Wizard format. <laughs> old playing time. what? Playing 2008? No, I mean just playing a 41-minute game. 41-minute game. <laughs> but obviously after yeah. all the... Or, yeah, so yeah. Well well done well done to everyone there and stuff. And like, It's, it's just typical Christchurch fear. You cannot compare South Island meta to... North Island, nor the rest of the world. There, it is a beast unto its own. Yeah, it is, and that's like almost the hard part on it. Like trying to trying to figure out how to play around some unique decks, and that's the battle in itself. Yeah, down I, here. Yeah, I had a few. Pe- I had a few people asking me, like being like, oh, "This is my deck. This is my deck," and I'm just like, "You know your locals better than I do. Trust your gut." What? The fact that you're even considering this card means it's probably going to be a decent choice for the tournament. Questionable. Everyone, but... hit, you. Okay. Everyone hit you up. Did they kids? Everyone want the, the kids' spice? The kids' sage advice? Well, I mean, like, um, well, spe- speaking of that, I mean, shout out to Taylor who made it ninth place with um, Drake Slayers. Just a little bit off. And then I believe, I think the other person I really want to shout out to, though, whose list it will be coming up soon is... um. Chevy, Chevy on Blue Eyes. Yep. He, and he drew with Dudeson. Yep. On table two. With Bestial, Bestial Blue Eyes. Dragons. Uh, honestly, it was funny to watch. It, he had like branded. As, it, yeah. it, honestly, it, it looked like a funny little deck. And he looked like he was having a lot of fun during the day and he's doing quite well. So yeah, yeah. you know it's, but, that's uh, what we live for in it. Those yeah. fucking but, weird Yu-Gi-Oh decks. But I guarantee, you, as soon as I put it up and as soon as I label it Blue Eyes, you're gonna have like everyone down in the comments being like, "Um, excuse me, this is not, this is not a Blue Eyes deck. It's only got. It's like, not a. Eight, it's not a true Blue Eyes uh, deck. Blue Eyes deck. Uh, where is your best stream of destruction? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you get those people. Like, I. I had poor, I had poor Joe. I put his uh, Makanko list up, and just, it's the standard Makanko list that I've been seeing. You know, it's like yeah, Ma- some Makanko cards because the cards aren't very good, but they work really well with Libromancer and stuff. And like all the comments, all the chaff. My God, you would have like all the all the vitriol, as it were, in the comments. Like you would have think um Joe was like bloody um Jacinda Ardern stepping down or something, because like everyone was just ripping it up, being like, "This is not Makanko." 
There's 12 cards in a 50 card deck. It's not my hand <laughs> There's more Libromancer <laughs> yeah. cards. And it's just like, they just yeah. like to gatekeep, eh? It's just like, just... Shut, shut the hell up. Go away. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I love, to, I, I love all my followers, but like, 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 think about it yourself. Like, you're, you're sitting at home, up to nothing, on the internet, being like, I'm sorry, this deck, this, 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 this deck, um, one locals, and it's not, it's, it's just not Makanko. And it's just like, bro, go to locals, go down there with your Makanko deck. Let's see how you do. That's it. Well, I mean, I don't even know what that bloody deck does. What, like, there's, there's the three new decks out in the new set. Yeah. I don't know what a single one of them do. The only I thing know. I know know about Makanko to watch out for, the only thing I know uh, know about Makanko to watch out for is one of the equips is a quick play snatch steal that can be done on your turn. That does sound pretty nice. Yeah, and like it's a ritual deck and it works well with all the Libromancer stuff. Except like, uh, let's have a look. Uh, sorry, I wrote a joke down. I wrote a joke down for for the set well, and I. Was it Joe Mama? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, no, I, I wrote a joke down. Amazing defenders, more like amazing offenders of terrible set and poor quality control. Well, I mean, that joke's not going to win any awards, so I'll just... It's, well, neither, it's, is the, look, neither is the set, might, isn't it? I'm not, no, I'm not, and that is a garbage time set. I am not um, pulling out a game for a garbage time set. Thinking yeah, I'm garbage, not gonna, yeah, speaking oh, of gar- sorry. <laughs> You're a fucking <laughs> Um speaking of garbage time though, um the aftermath. What did you guys get up to? Like it's always a banger after a, an event, especially a regional, especially with the Hoon Hay boys. What did you guys get up to? So last round actually. Yep. We just went to the pub for a oh. cheeky beer. Yeah, um workies? And then yeah, after the event we went we did in fact go to the Workman's Club. Workman's Club Hornby. So- so for everyone that doesn't know, the Workies Club is um, a club for older people. Oh, that describes um, us as, to a T. Yeah, as I've gotten into my older age, I've loved it more and more. Um, but it's just yeah. a place for cheap beers and, and food. So And it serves pretty nice food. I had the brisket again. Oh, yeah. fuck. It's sick. You ever had brisket before, Kez? Yeah, yeah, oh, so, oh, God, I, lo- I love a brisket. Eh? I love, love brisket. Oh, God, that was just... Hmm. So that, so that we went there. They actually, one of the presidents. I know, her, I know her. One of the people that work uh, is on the board. Shouted us a couple jugs. So that was shout out Marina. Oh, that was uh, pretty good fun. Deal, fun. Yeah, and then we went to Harry's, picked up a couple boxes, uh, partied up there. Then I had to do a business deal with 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 Liam. Um, with oh, Liam yes. Gill, we and hung out with. Oh, him oh no. Bit. Oh, before you get into that, I thought, you, thought the business that you got into with Liam was Liam Garrity and your guys shoeys in the garden. Oh sh- shit! I missed that one. Yeah, yeah. So just before I left, uh, I had to do the the shoey. So what we do in the team Hoon Hay, it's our little ritual, so to mm. speak. Uh, yeah. It's our little tradition. Uh, the, the whoever does the worst uh, has to do a shoey. Have to punch a shoey. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just like to throw this in. I have never done the showy. Yeah, I, that was actually my. This is the first time I've done the worst in the group. The first time? Oh no, no, no clearly <laughs> not because Australia. But technically, Liam did worse. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Liam and I both punched that one. But anyway, mm. so Liam and but Liam wanted to do um just to join in because usually he does the worst. So usually he's yep. doing the showy, hence the nickname showy. Yep. Um, but he actually did the best this time, so he did a celebratory shoey. I did my disgrace shoey. Mm, very, um, good. very good. Nice and creamy I, Baileys out of a work boot. Oh, you ever had Baileys out of a shoe before? Yeah, I've also been to a club where people wee on each other. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we punched that. Yeah. Pun- I punched that shoey, and then I threw up my guts. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then you had a business deal with um yeah, deal the, with them, yeah. yeah with Liam everything um sorting and out um, had yeah sorting out Mason's um birthday present as it were it's a secret oh. not that he's going to listen to this but we uh, that's obviously a secret thing that we're doing for him but, uh, yeah so then and then I left and then I had my cool taxi driver experience um which which is very unique and I don't think that's going to live with here. me for the rest of my life insert clip here. 
Boop, boop, boop. No, we're not, we're not. We're not going to be playing that. We can't be playing that on the watershed. No, we're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about that one. Um, no, 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 no. no. That's, that, that's, some very, that's some very rough chat indeed. Uh but shit, that was funny. And then I went back to the house. It was only Dudeson and Harry left. People yeah, yeah. just left because I was arriving. And then we just drank some more, and then called it a night. And uh, just a nice, nice, subtle, friendly, friendly night. We didn't go out. It was quite quiet. Yeah, I feel like the last too much money on the pokies. Fuck, did I did I ever punch like two hundred bucks on the pokies at the workies? Fuck me, dude. Well, ne- well, next time your mates are calling you to let them in, maybe go let them in. Yeah, well, maybe they should get their own card because they're there. They're there a lot now. They shouldn't yeah. think about investing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. If I was down in Christchurch, I would definitely have my own workman's club card as well. Yeah. Almost, almost yeah, I did so- that last time. I stole yours. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's bloody good. It's a personal little establishment. We get our own table, and the beers are cheap. Yeah. Foods are yeah. right. Can't complain. Yeah. Wait. Waitress is okay. Um. Yeah. That lovely lady that keeps coming around asking where our meals are and if it's all right. Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm a, I'm a local there now, so I'm a regular, so they know me. So if you ever want to shake hands with this gentleman, um, on the podcast, yeah, just head on down to the. Hornby Workman's Club. Yeah, they'll point you in James's direction. I know the guy. They do actually. But and yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that's a good place to wrap up and stuff. I think. I think. Yeah, we've covered most of the weekend's chat and everything. So yeah. Good. Well, I mean, you didn't want to talk about your uh, cheeky experience at Hobby winning, winning first place, mate. Oh, piss off! Everyone's everyone's second, mate. Let me like ring my own bells about bloody Draco Slayers because nobody knows how to read the cards or knows how to interact with them. Surely, surely play Black Wings for next one, eh? Oh god! Next hobby. Oh, oh god! I tried that last time, and I thought I'd tell you the last time I played Black Wings at a hobby league, it was like they cut the round short, and I lost the last round. They, they, I lost the last round on table one. I was undefeated. We were both undefeated, and somehow I finished fifth. They, they, only, they only do like three rounds, though, no? Four rounds, right? Yeah, I think it was three. We were three rounds. We had enough players for five rounds. So, yeah, it's kicking the guts. Pretty garbage that's time. What, that's pretty garbage I think time. It, yeah, I think that's one decided. I just want to kick the dick to the curb. Eh? But anyway, good place to wrap it up. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, you at home, as well as James yourself. I know you're not in the best of conditions and everything like that but yeah it's been a really great chat indeed and if you enjoyed the chat yourself um come join us next week for brown pants episode number two dun, 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 dun. do we have an outro dun, 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 dun. Dun, you, dun, have, dun. you have just dun, dun, the dun. outro thank you everyone. all right take care see you guys catch up catch up